this is Troy from Option Omega, and today we are very excited to introduce Squeeze Metrics into our back tester. For those of you who are familiar with Squeeze Metrics, have fun, go crazy, enjoy yourself. For those who have no idea what Squeeze Metrics is, uh, I think you're going to find it very, very insightful. And so, what we have here is Squeeze Metrics web website, squeezemetrics.com, and they have a couple different tools that they use to measure a couple different things. And so what we're going to do over the next couple videos is just go through each metric. And there's no way I'll be able to do a good job of explaining it. It's pretty complex. But for any um, more information, just go to the Squeeze Metrics website. They have an awesome white paper on what they're doing. And they have some charts that you can go back and kind of measure what's happening. But for today, we're going to be looking at the DIX, pronounced DIX. Other people pronounce it different ways depending on your persuasion. So we're going to pronounce it DIX because this is a kid-friendly channel and we're going to talk about that this morning. So what is the DIX? It is the dark pool index. If you are familiar with dark pools, have fun. If you're not familiar with dark pools, let me explain a little bit. When you hear a dark pool index, what does that mean? What it means is it is buyers and sellers uh, probably larger buyer and sellers, although uh, some people would argue that they, it could be retail to some extent as well. Um, but large investors, institutional investors, buying and selling stocks and indexes off the exchanges, off the kind of open exchanges. Why would they do that? Uh, a, they're uh, dark lords and they want to stay under the radar for nefarious purposes. Probably also true. Probably to a larger extent, what's happening is they want to get fills and perhaps move a large chunk of their purchasing or selling um, to where it's not moving the market. And so they will use dark indexes to do this, off exchanges to do this. And so, for instance, a day when there's massive selling, the institutions might not want uh, the world to know that they are doing a large amount of buying that day. Uh, otherwise, they might not get as good a price. They also might use it to get uh, better fills because if they're doing hundreds and hundreds of thousands of contracts at one time, um, the, the uh, open exchanges, uh, oftentimes it would just move the needle too much. For, inf for more information on that, you can definitely read Squeeze Metrics. They've got a lot, more, uh, a lot more data on that and a little bit more of the definitions of why people would do it. Nevertheless, this is the DIX index. So... Well, if you look at a chart, what it's doing, what this is doing, is it's comparing, let's just use the last six months, it's comparing um, the, the dark pool index to the S&P 500. DAX is blue, S&P is green. And what you can see is there's some times when there's some divergences happening. In general, and this is kind of the TLDR of this whole video, DIX, what it, when it goes up, it means that buyers are absorbing selling that's going on, uh, that meaning they are purchasing more. When it goes down, it means there is perhaps not buying or there is selling going on in the dark market. And dark market, again, just sounds like a wizard stuff, but off exchanges is a, is a perhaps better term for it. So at TLDR, DIX goes up, um, forward returns uh, presumably would be going up over the next couple sessions or perhaps next month or two months. Um, again, some of the squeeze metrics is forward looking over a 90 day basis. Some are forward looking over a daily basis. DIX, um, I'll let you play with it and test it yourself. So let's get into the tester and see what we do. TLDR, I'm gonna keep saying TLDR. Uh, TLDR, TLDR, TLDR. And for those who don't know TLDR, too long didn't read, um, when DIX goes up, there's a good chance for a rebound, a good chance for um, uh, forward prices going up in the S&P. So let's look at the back tester. And what we're going to do is let's pick a, a DIX level. DIX is, if you look in our back tester, we will show you. You will go to down here and squeeze metrics. And we have some um, kind of definitions. Uh, it's off exchange, and it's dark traded, and it's a percentage. 
and each one of these metrics is going to be different from, but for DIX this is a percentage so what we want to do is we want to kind of look and this is kind of how I do it we look through time uh, at what DIX how high it had got so um, it looks like the highest peak in the last six months DIX got to 54 if we look over the two-year period DIX got to uh, around 50 right there so a couple different things to, to, to notice this is a chart going back its max uh, I believe it goes back to 2011 that's right so looking up uh, one of the immediate things that's fun to do is to go back and look at uh, the COVID crash during the COVID crash DIX just went up in a crazy amount. If you look on the chart here, it's some of the highest amounts. And what that's indicating is that buyers, off exchange buyers, were absorbing these lower prices. Uh, hindsight's always twenty twenty, but it's interesting to watch. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a test, two simple tests. And remember, DIX, the higher, the higher it goes up, the more buying going on. Uh, the lower the less buying going on. So there's two tests here. First off, this is a just classic buy a call test and there's no metrics put in place. We're gonna open this trade. Uh, this is a specific trade. During OPEX, we're gonna open this trade the fourth Monday of every month. So usually OPEX is on the third Friday. We're gonna open this up on the Monday after that. And we're gonna open it up at 3.40 p.m. So every month, the fourth Monday, we're going to open this trade up at 3.40 p.m. And all we're going to do is buy a 50 delta call that's 45 days out. We're going to exit at 50% profit. No stop loss, so you could lose everything. Just for the testing purposes, we're going to see this. Now, we've been in a historic bull market, so as you can guess, this is going to be good. We're going to have a P&L of $82,000. Uh, as always, options of all risk are not suitable for all investors and... This is theoretical, but theoretically, you would have a PL of around 82,000. You would have a win weight, win, win weight, win rate of 71%, and you would have about 101 trades put on. Now, that's no squeeze metrics. We're going to do the same test, but we're going to add squeeze metrics in. And what we're going to do is we're going to have it to where the minimum DIX is a 40. That's a pretty high DIX. Again, if you look at the chart, the majority of time, uh, it goes through large seasons where it's under 40. But there are seasons where it stays above 40. So once a month, we're going to check to see on the fourth Monday, if the DIX is at least 40, we're going to run this test. As you can see, it's the same test as last time, but just with this one metric put in place, uh, a DIX of 40. Your win rate goes up, your PL goes substantially up, but you trade less. And this is the thing that can really prove it. I mean, if you're trading more, it's harder to tell. But if you're trading, if you're putting, uh, you know, a third of the trades that you're putting on in the other tests, you're winning more and you are have a greater PL, that is a great kind of metric to look like to say, oh, this, this thing might actually work. Um, Again, you can test this. You can say, I want a, a min DIX of 20. What happens? Let's run that real quick. Pretty good still, 71%. But again, based on this one metric, you're kind of back, if you notice, to the other tests that didn't have squeeze metrics in it. So this is just a, an example. There's a ton of different strategies you could run with this. There's a ton of different ways you could use this, but we wanted to show just basically what it is. Again, the higher the DIX, the more off-market exchange buyers are absorbing selling that's going on. Or they, if, it's, if we're not in sell-off, uh, high DIX just means that people are continually buying. So, as always, you can test that out on the back tester. Have fun with it. It's, it's super insightful, we have found. And if you have any questions, again, if you have any questions for us as back testing, 
go to optionomega.com. If you're not a, a subscriber, you can subscribe there. Um, if you are interested in squeeze metrics, I highly recommend going to squeezemetrics.com and highly recommend following him on Twitter because he's pretty hilarious. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon.